people can sort of get that idea that, oh, you're really nice and this is what you do. And it just kind of pisses me off because I think I do this because I love my mum and that's it. It's not, not naturally, you know, it's not something I naturally wanted to do all my life or whatever. Do you know what I mean? When Bum had the stroke, she was in hospital for three months, so I was there every single day for three months, you know. Mum's just kind of tough, you know. And before I left her and she was fine, I think now if I'd have, I'd gone in, when I, 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 I left, she was sitting up and chatting and I, and I left and when I came back in I was just like, I was just like, you know, you know, I just, I didn't understand it, it was just like, what's happened? When she was in hospital, I was sitting with my mum and this was the third night I was sleeping in the hospital. And they had these, there was this, this, this TVs on really high up. Mum was in a room on her own and it was, they were so sweet to me, bringing me tea and biscuits. And this one man, he was so lovely and she was like, oh my God, you know, you just get the best. And he sort of put these pillows up for me and tea and biscuits. So I thought, I'll try and put something on, you know, like Big Bang or... My mum quite likes um, the IT crowd, the Richard, yeah. So I thought, what if, if she, can, she can hear it, she might hear the laughter. So I'm up there trying to change the channels and I, I don't know how, but I got the porn channel. And I thought, why is that on in a hospital? I mean, it was a lot, it was just bizarre. I mean, it was just the most bizarre night of my life. And my mum is a very proud Irish Catholic, you know, that is not something she would, I mean, it's not something she would enjoy, you know. So I was, I was trying to switch it off and, and I put the volume up and a nurse came and she was like, um, she was very practical. And she was like, uh, what, 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 what were you trying to get? And I was like, no, no, not this, not this, not this. But um, whatever I did wrong, I was standing on a chair it was like well i mean yeah exactly i mean tea and biscuits around and it was like exactly you know no. i was making it it was making all these sounds when mum came home from hospital i didn't sleep for three weeks i mean mum didn't sleep i, I wasn't a very nice person at four in the morning I mean, everything I never thought I would say to my mum, I said to her, because you're just so tired and you just go, well, die, die, quickly die. And it's just, well, but, but I, I remember saying that to a, quite a wise friend and she said, could you just repeat what you said? And I can tell you it's not that bad. So you don't feel like you've got that bit inside you. So I told her. It's just like, there is no, there's nothing left. There's just, just nothing left. It's just like you've said, I've said everything I can possibly say. I, I mean, I swear like hell. I, I, my my neighbour downstairs is really lovely and she's like, I thought you were playing your mum lullaby music and then I realised it sounded a bit more like heavy metal music. <laughs> And it's like, you know, get to the fucking bed! <laughs> I mean, the plus side of it, I mean, pros and cons, I mean, you're just doing what you're doing. But the plus side of it is it's made me very athletic about what I do with my time, what I don't do, who I speak to, who I don't speak to. I'm quite brutal, you know, I mean, some people I'm like, meh, I can't, I can't, you're not making me laugh, leave it. I haven't got this much energy, I just can't, I can't do it. 
and I think if you're a nice people sort of person, well, I mean, it's just cut that one out of me. I mean, I work 20 hours a day. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't just go off and do what I want. I mean, go on holiday. I mean, I mean, I chose that, but I mean, put your mum in respite. I mean, my mum would be so unhappy in respite. I mean, why would I want to do that? I mean, she'd probably, she'd probably die. I mean, she probably, she probably would. She'd probably die of a broken heart. I mean, and every night, at, I do think that every night at four in the morning, I mean, you're going in a nursing home tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I just think I get tired sometimes. My friends, my mates' suggestions, and I think I'm just not doing this. I mean, I just don't get what he was talking about. I mean, sometimes I hear my friends talking about, and I just go, what are you talking about? I get these moments when I, I'm aware I can't have anyone in my life. I mean, I can't go off on a date. I mean, what's the point, you know? I mean, my mates are like, it would be good for you. And I'm knackered. I'm thinking it would be good for them because, like, I'm knackered. I'm married to my mum, if you like. Feels a bit like that. This is my happy day. I go to the laundrette, my washing machine broke. My first thought my brother said is it's a curse and I thought actually it's much easier going to do the laundry once a week and I get out of the house <laughs> a win-win situation <laughs> and I bring my brother fish and chips when I come home so it's kind of like you know well it was lovely to meet you and fresh young people I mean young the skins are young. <laughs> there were no walking props. <laughs> Repeating everything. <laughs> it's great, you know, it's great what you're doing. Stories that need to be told, you know. I mean, it's good for me. I mean, it's like I said to you, I have a life.